I love this crazy jean jacket, but the sleeves on it are way too long. So today I'm gonna show you how to shorten your sleeves on a denim jacket. This isn't as hard as you think, so follow along and I'm gonna teach you all the sewing skills you need to be able to do this alteration. So you're probably wondering how short should I make the sleeve on my jacket? Well, we wanna mark right below our wrist bone. So wrist bone's a little knobby bit there and we're gonna mark right below the wrist bone. So let's grab our chalk and mark it. So I have my arm hanging down where it's comfortable. I can feel my wrist bone right here and I'm going to mark with my chalk right there. Now let's take off our jacket, head over to the sewing table and get into making these sleeves shorter. The easiest way to understand this with the cuff is measure your cuff. My cuff is an inch and three quarters wide. And now we're gonna measure an inch and three quarters up from that spot I put on my wrist when I tried it on. Okay, so now I have an inch and three quarters marked here. And now we're gonna come down a half inch for seam allowance. So that's giving us extra fabric to be able to sew back on the cuff later. And now what we need to do is go ahead and cut that line and then we're going to seam rip the cuff off of the bottom of the jacket. So that way we can reattach it back onto the jacket up here. So grab your scissors and let's chop it off. So we have the cuff all cut off. And now what we need to do is seam rip it from this little chunk of fabric so that way we can reuse it. I'm going to use a traditional seam ripper. I'm going to get it started. Carefully don't rip your fabric. I'm gonna flip it around so the little red spot goes in the inside. And then you should just be able to drag this along your seam and it should move pretty quick. If it's not, you might need to get a new seam ripper. They do go dull. I have two rows of stitches here, so now I need to go in and seam rip that second row. Now we have the cuff removed. Now that we have the cuff removed from that little piece of fabric that we cut off the sleeve, it's time to reattach the cuff to the jacket. Let me show you exactly how to do that. The first thing we need to do is make this little opening that's in the seam. So because we cut so much of the sleeve off, we don't have an opening here any longer. So all we need to do is seam rip about two inches and then we're going to finish the edge and just like top stitch down the two little edges here so that way our seam is coming apart right there so that way we can get the cuff back on here. So I'm just gonna seam rip this up about two inches to open it up a little bit and then we will sew back down the seam making the little slit. There we go. So I've got that open about two inches and now I'm going to go back and add a couple top stitches to each one so that way it's nice and secure. Speaking of sewing, make sure you check out the Sew Anastasia Sewing Academy online if you haven't yet. I now offer online sewing courses. And if you're liking what you see in this video so far, definitely make sure you like and subscribe because I put out new videos every week. So the bottom layer of fabric I'm going to turn under. So I have something to sew on and we can see the nice clean denim fabric on the top. We've got a nice clean folded edge here. So first I'm gonna sew a quarter inch away from the edge. So I'm doing my top stitch first. I chose a thick denim thread. Try to get one that matched my stitching already. We'll see how close it is in a few minutes. I'm just gonna stitch down to the opening. Needle in, I'm gonna pivot, come across my fabric. I'm gonna stop in my edge stitch position one more stitch, pivot, and now we're going to sew back up this little piece. Back stitch and cut. So now we're going to do the same thing to the other side, and you can already see where the stitches go because it was acid wash. Woo, so 80s. I'm going to start at the top up here. Make sure you don't have your cuff caught under there, or make sure you don't have the rest of your sleeve caught under there. Start a few stitches back in the existing stitch. Back stitch, come all the way down. Back stitch and cut. Oh wow, our thread choice matches really well. I wasn't expecting that, that's great. And now we're going to put back in the edge stitch, which is an eighth of an inch away from the edge here. 
Again, start back in the seam that already exists. Add a few stitches, back stitch, and come all the way down. Back stitch and cut. And now we have the opening finished with our edge stitch and our top stitch, and we're ready to put the cuff back on. So now what we wanna do is open up the cuff, and we are going to place the edge of our sleeve in there about a half inch up. So we're basically sandwiching it in between the two sides of the cuff here. We're gonna pin it and we're gonna work our way all the way around. And when you get towards the end, if you cut off your sleeve enough to where your sleeve is actually longer than your cuff, we're gonna do just like they do in button up shirts and we're gonna add a little pleat towards center back. So we're gonna fold up the jacket, just enough, just a little pleat. This one just needs about a quarter of an inch. So that way it's going to fit in the cuff nicely. And if you put it in the same spot on both sleeves, it's gonna look intentional. Nobody will ever know. Now that we have the cuff all pinned to the sleeve, we're going to sew it on. We're gonna put back that edge stitch and we're gonna put back the top stitch. First, I'm gonna add the edge stitch along the bottom of the cuff. Make sure you're using a denim needle. And just keep moving the cuff and lining it up as you go. Take out your pins before you get to them. Turn your corner and come up as far as you seam rip and then back stitch and cut. Now we're putting in the top stitch, which is the stitch that's closer to the inside of the cuff. And we're done. Our cuff looks so good. I can't even believe how good this thread matches. Everything's in the right place. Doesn't even look like I took it off and put it back on. It looks so good. As you can see, this sleeve here is definitely shorter and it fits me better. The proportions are way better on the sleeve now. So next time you try on a jacket and the sleeves are too long, don't worry, you can totally alter it. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you have any questions about how to shorten your denim sleeves, leave it down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause and let me know what video you wanna see next down below in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit that notification bell because we put out two new videos every single week. Woo! And don't forget to subscribe on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you're in Chicago, come on into the design studio and take a sewing class with me. But if you're not, that's okay too. We now just launched the Sewing Anastasia Sewing Academy online so that way you guys can take online classes. Woo! -hoo! Thanks so much for watching. Bye!